Welcome to Geospatial Modeling course offered by Center for Geospatial Analytics at North Carolina State University. In this course, you will learn how to work with continuous and discrete geospatial data models. We will cover data display and two-dimensional 2D and 3D geovisualization. We will also uh, learn the basics of geospatial analytics and map algebra, including proximity analysis, uh, such as buffers and uh, working with cost surfaces. Uh, one of the important topics is how to convert points to rasters using spatial interpolation if the data are uh, representing continuous phenomena. Then we will talk about terrain modeling and topographic analysis and then expand the topographic analysis into viewshed and solar energy potential. Uh, finally, we will also discuss and learn about flow routing and watershed analysis and uh, erosion modeling as an example of how to model landscape processes within GIS. So here, uh, what is the course structure? The course is offered on campus in, during the spring semester and it is available online uh, both uh, during spring and fall semesters. However, we keep all our material online accessible at any time. So once you take the course, you can always go back and access the material uh, look, in, look at the assignments, look at the instructions, look at the lectures. The lectures are designed as software independent uh, lectures and they are delivered as slides with audio. The assignments are designed for both open source Grass GIS and ArcGIS. They are slightly different, but you can uh, uh, do them in both uh, systems and you can better understand what are the issues of software implementations and what are the foundations of the geospatial modeling. An important part of this course is independent project. So let's now look at some examples from the course, uh, some of the topics. So, as I mentioned, we will cover data display and geovisualization. Uh, we will look at visualization from the point of view of uh, data analysis and also uh, uh, look at its call in communication of geospatial information. Uh, here is one example of the problem that we will be looking at. Uh, uh, we have uh, about how we will learn how to work with assigning color tables or color ramps to geospatial data to highlight or extract information. So here we have elevation for North Carolina and because most of Carolina is pretty flat, uh, you don't really see with uniform interval color table much of the topographic structure. But with a custom color table, or histogram equalized uh, color table, we can highlight the, ter the terrain features even in very flat areas. Uh, another example is three-dimensional visualization. We will be using it a lot because a lot of our uh, assignments and a lot of our lectures are focused on topography and on three-dimensional data. Uh, we will also discuss dynamic geovisualization. A lot of our data are now coming as time series and we are very interested in uh, evolution of landscape and in changes in landscape and in dynamic processes. And we will uh, discuss how we can visualize the landscape in dynamic way. Then, as I mentioned, we will cover some basic tools in raster-based geospatial analysis. Uh, one of them, and one of the most important and most versatile tools, is map algebra. Here is an example how you can use map algebra to compute NDVI index, which is the greenness index from Landsat imagery. Uh, 
Then we will uh, uh, cover proximity problem solving. Uh, it involves various tasks that combine buffers and uh, uh, map algebra, but we will also spend some time explaining cost surfaces and how we can use cost surfaces to solve optimization problems. For example, finding least cost path. We will also discuss different methods, how to convert points to rasters, how to interpolate the, the, uh, from the given um, data into, uh, from the given ir irregularly distributed data into regularly distributed grids. And we will discuss various, uh, uh, various methods and their properties. Here is one example how we can tune the interpolation method. So that will be another thing. Once we selected the suitable interpolation method, how do we actually select the suitable parameters for that particular method so that we uh, generate the surface, generate the raster with the properties that we need for further modeling or extracting the information that we need. We will discuss how to generate digital elevation models and digital surface models from LiDAR point clouds and how to analyze these point clouds to select the, uh, the proper, uh, uh, proper resolution and proper interpolation method to generate these models. Then we will also talk about geomorphometry. Once we have the digital elevation model, how we can extract additional information from this digital elevation model that describes the shape of topography and that describes the landforms. We will also do a more complex uh, geomorphometry, more complex topographic analysis. One of them is uh, line of sight or computing view sheet, what we can see. Another one is computing the dynamics of solar radiation. And then, uh, then we will also look into the concepts of modeling of landscape processes. And we will use flow routing and hydrologic modeling as an example, as well as erosion and erosion and deposition modeling. Finally, as I mentioned, an important part of this project, of this course, is independent project. This project, you select the project uh, based on your research interest, maybe based on your uh, dissertation or thesis topic, but we also provide a lot of different uh, uh, topics from the previous courses. Uh, you can use any geospatial software that you want. It doesn't need to be GRAS or ArcGIS. It can be R, it can be MATLAB. It is really your choice based on the tasks, based on the project that you are doing. The only condition for the project is that you include some surface uh, uh, processing or a continuous field component. Usually it is, uh, it is elevation field, but it can also be precipitation or uh, such as in this uh, uh, three-dimensional example, it's a soil moisture example. Now, at the end of the course, you will have a final portfolio, which will include six assignment papers with lots of insightful two-dimensional and three-dimensional graphics that represent the course foundation topics. And then you will have also an independent project paper and presentations, a presentation that represents your, uh, your project and some of these projects have over the time actually evolved into papers for conferences or scientific journals. And you will find all the information and all the material about the course on our course website. 
uh, and this uh, and this course was developed at NCSU Geoforal Laboratory, and you can uh, learn more about what we are doing in this lab uh, from this uh, website. Thank you.